Hello, welcome back to the channel, Tiny Yogi. I'm Vineet, and today we have another crystal ball reading. And today's topic is going to be we're going to tap into your Akashic records and find the most important and useful information for you right now. So we have three piles to choose from. The description box below will have the timestamp for your pile. Take a minute, see what your intuition is guiding you to which pile, and that will be your answer. And again, remember these are general readings, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment. It means a lot to the channel grow and if you want to reach out for a private reading you can definitely do that my email id and my instagram handle are given in the description box below so you can definitely reach out for a private reading and i'll see you guys in your reading hello if you chose pile number one this is your crystal ball reading on the most relevant information for me akashic records so just give me a minute and we'll get to channeling Okay, by number one, so what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a whirlpool. I'm seeing a whirlpool of water. And I feel this has a lot to do with maybe the current state you are in. Things really feel as if everything has been turned on its head. And yet you, you cannot seem to change your perspective on things because there's definitely a lot of more grief that you have to let out from your system. And I'm hearing salt and I was just reading recently about salt and how in an alchemical process, the byproduct of, of you finishing your alchemical work is getting salt. And we let out salt in our tears when we cry, right? So there's a real message of healing over here for you, pile number one, of just really opening your heart and letting out this whirlpool. I think what you also need to understand is what created this whirlpool what created the storm within you and I think it's just all the things that you haven't these are the things that you haven't exactly addressed that you definitely need to and I do think you need to be very gentle with yourself in this process but also give yourself the tough love to actually do look inside to do look inside and to truly be honest with yourself and Understand that even the place you are at in right now, it is not your fault. It's not your fault completely. And by that, what I mean is you need to understand that there's a bigger, bigger picture over here that you need to see. Now I'm seeing a map. So I do feel you are exactly where you need to be sort of on your own hero's journey. And I, I am getting a lot of mythical energy here as well. So you could very much relate to a lot of mythical creatures over here or mythical legends and mythical gods and goddesses so and i do feel there is something very strong over there and now i'm seeing algol so you could have any prominent algol placements maybe look into that and by algol i'm also getting fixed stars so there is a stubbornness at your end coming back to what i was saying and you have been pushing a lot of things under the rug and it has become this scary ugly monster that is coming to eat you now that's what this whirlpool feels like that's what i've been trying to say all this while and you need to understand that firstly you generated this whirlpool so the only way to defeat it the only anti-venom for it is within you and i i still don't feel that this is your enemy i think this is just parts of yourself that you have cast out these are just parts of yourself that because of the circumstances you were in, you didn't allow yourself to be and feel. So there is a strong energy of ostracization over here as well. So you really need to accept yourself, firstly. Accept all parts of yourself, even, even the parts of yourself that you aren't proud of, even the times that you behaved, which wasn't the most ideal to who you are. and let go of even people misunderstanding you over here by number one there's a very important message over here like i was saying you do need to shift your perspective over here because your past is not going to change but the emotional current that you give it and the way you look at it can definitely change and again like i said it is all within you so there's also a, a strong feeling of loneliness over here but i honestly want to say by number one it feels like you do need this alone time and only in this alone time will you be able to integrate this within yourself by number one there's a real message for that and i when i was seeing the whirlpool i was seeing it go very very fast now i'm seeing it become super slow 
So I think the more you show up and do the inner work, do the shadow work that you need to do, you can check out my shadow work readings on the channel. But the more you do that, the more you're just able to just sit with yourself. And doing shadow work is not, oh my God, I did my shadow work and it's over. No, it is something that you have to keep coming back to over and over again. And you will be able to peel a deeper layer. And the deeper layer you peel, you will realize that there was so much that needed healing. And no wonder there has been so much thrashing about. So the more you integrate this, I think even the certain doors that are closed for you right now, I think a lot of y'all are maybe in unhappy job positions or you're unemployed or whatever it is fit to your situation. Whatever is, it, is your case, I think you're not moving forward right now because you're not you're not completely putting a stop to the past. And I, I, I don't mean it in the sense of other people, but I mean it for you. I think you have to cut your ties and move on. And I think when you do that, this whirlpool will subside because you're definitely not going to find a cure outside yourself by number one. I think that is the message over here. And the more you procrastinate and the more you choose dishonesty with yourself, the more you will be in pain and the more you will suffer over here. And that's a choice you have by number one, which you also need to realize where a lot of y'all, I also feel are feeling very disempowered right now. A lot of y'all might not even feel you as attractive because I'm seeing yellow and I'm seeing orange. So I do think your second and your third chakra is very prominent over here and there is a strong energy of transformation over here as well and the second chakra it's related to water. So just flow into it. Flow where the change is taking you towards. There's, there's always a natural rhythm flowing within nature, within seasons, but also within us pile number one and I think that's what you need to understand and understand that maybe your rhythm looks very different than other people maybe if other people flow upstream maybe you have to flow downstream or you or you have to flow upstream where most people flow downstream right pile number one so understand that the carved road for most people is not going to work for you because that's not the path you're supposed to take at all and I do feel that maybe there are distractions over here. There are definitely challenges at every turn. And it gets very weary. You get very tired. You do get burnt out. We are, we're just human after all. So do, do give yourself that grace. And if you need a few days, give yourself the rest and then get back into the arena. Get back on the road because you don't have time to waste. And I, I do feel that you do feel this sense of urgency about achieving the things you want. But understand that. If you don't do this healing right now, it'll just be more painful and more even expensive for you in the future. So it's a good, it's a good bargain over here to really give yourself some time and maybe take some time out, even if it feels counterintuitive to what you're trying to achieve and gather yourself and then go about doing what you need to do. Because I, I think then the ideas will just flow. I think even the kind of people that you want to work with they will also just fall into your radar over here by number one. I'm, now I'm hearing radar by Britney Spears. So you might even have a work crash over here because that's what the music video is about, right? So, and with Britney, I also feel that you will be shining more. I think you will be more in demand over here, especially if you're in the corporate or you are on social media, you'll definitely go viral. So just keep doing what you're doing. Pile number one, I think it's going to truly work wonders for you. And I think you, you are very focused on maybe how people are thinking about you, how people are perceiving you. You need to give a damn. You need to really just move ahead and not care about what people are saying or thinking because it's none of your business what people think of you, honestly. And the more you understand that, the more you will not invite other people's negative energies on you. So know that surrounding yourself with people who love you and who support you is not narcissistic. It is essential for our growth, pile number one. That's also very, very important for you to understand. And now I'm seeing a fragile flower growing on a pavement. So you might feel as if no one is attending to you. Maybe right now you might even grasp at other people and 
the validation you get from them but i think that needs to f- stop definitely because you're wasting your energy there i feel and you're not going to get it from other people also so just realize that anything and everything you need right now is within you the love the validation the comfort the words of wisdom everything is within you by number 1 even even the map like i was saying again the map i'm seeing the map again so you have the map to where you truly need to be and if you're just able to lead with your heart and not your mind for this one time by number 1 you will see your whole life change and i do feel this is the truth over here and because i'm seeing ace of swords now so know that everything is contained within the first initial thought that you have and when you have that divine spark that divine inspiration that divine thought the second thought is usually the doubt right we go from ace of swords to two of swords so give yourself the mindfulness to distinguish between the doubt and the original thought and this will again help you dissipate a lot of this anxiety that you feel in your chest about making choices and you will like i said you will just flow into the direction you truly need to be in you will just naturally fall into alignment the more you let go of your baggage over here by number 1 now i'm seeing a swimming pool now i'm seeing a girl come out of sw- a swimming pool so maybe this has to do with a love interest for some of you all or another thing that i'm getting if this does not resonate because it's a general reading so for it your situation for others what i see is i do see a girl coming out of the swimming pool and what it reminds me of is the birth of venus and i did see venus today morning so there is this message of beauty over here also not in like a vain type of way but in a way where it's truly nourishing to you and you do need to also boost your self esteem and i don't think you realize how pretty you are by number 1 or how handsome you are but the more you just allow yourself to even just look look in the mirror and realize that you are changing and you're becoming more beautiful and you always were beautiful like really just honestly spend 5 minutes in front of the mirror because i don't think a lot of y'all have even spent 5 minutes in front of the mirror just looking at yourself i think that will really help you even have this shift on your perspective it's a very powerful thing to do trust me so that will also help you shed skin and be reborn again because the girl that i saw coming out of the swimming pool was really pretty so there's definitely also a glow up over here in your akashic records and i think this glow up is very much tied to you doing this work which which does feel which does feel like a very sisyphean task it it feels very never ending and it it honestly is that's why we need to get nirvana and moksha but coming back to the reading and since i even said that i do think this could even be your last life on earth and i do feel if this is truly your last life on earth it's it's going to be very intense you're not going to really get a break and i do think things have been like that for you so understand that you have more power than you realize you command more power than you realize and i think even the kind of situations you are in right now it is only to trigger you into your gifts and your abilities and for you to even achieve mastery with what you're trying to achieve and do over here by number 1 so that is also a promise as long as you keep doing the work every day day in and day out you have to meticulously give it your all and i think out of that you will get your mastery so surrendering is very important over here it's a very big thing also surrender the things that you don't understand surrender the things that you're not able to find answers for right now because it is honestly blocking you so know that in due time you will get the answers once you let go of the grip you have over the things over the questions and your mind that are plaguing you honestly by number one now i'm seeing lock- locusts so it doesn't have to be this by number one and realize you're actually very powerful and 
you're generating a storm within yourself that only you can take out to sum it up basically that's what i'm seeing over here again i'm seeing the i'm seeing the storm sort of fade out so i do think you will be very victorious in your undertakings but it really just starts by first taking that first step and then secondly just sustaining that and people either struggle with either or both so know that you're being helped in both those situations where you will be able to even jump start certain things that you want to because i'm seeing a rocket and it will also reach far space where you need it to reach so you have both the energy of creation and sustenance with you right now and needless to say you are going through a sort of a destruction by number one which is only for the best it's all going to work out for you and that's what you need to have your true vision on zoom out every time you're not able to make sense of things just surrender just give it up and get back to doing what you need to do don't keep yourself stuck that's a very important message over here and there's an emphasis over here on your sixth house activities your daily activities what you do on a day-to-day -day basis your skincare your workouts your sleep cycles all those things they're very very important so even the food you eat right now i think you need to consume foods that would raise your frequency that's all i'll say over here it's your decision to make at the end of the day it's just my opinion but raising your frequency is also going to help you it's also going to help you just ease into this because like i said it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be so intense and it doesn't have to be so prolonged by number one that's what you need to get get it through your skull basically by number one so stop being so stubborn and you don't have to prove anything to anyone so let go of those things as well nothing is lost if you have lost anything if you feel opportunities are gone out of your hand you will get a better one i promise i do see that over here and i see wings so i do feel there's going to be some kind of message some kind of email maybe some dm work related email definitely work related so keep an eye out for that because when we get exhausted we forget to check our emails that happens to me as well so keep an eye out i do feel you will get a very happy message very very soon i'm seeing a flag over here but i'm seeing an empty flag so i do feel you need to be more proud about who and what you are and how far you have come and honor yourself even if other people are not honoring you pile number one start there now my vision is going blank any other messages yeah so that's all i have for pile number one again it's a general reading so please take what resonates leave the rest and if you like my style of reading please like this video share subscribe comment it means a lot it helps the channel grow and if you want to reach out for private reading you can definitely do that my email id and my instagram handle are given in the description box below so you can definitely reach out for private reading and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you hello if you chose pile number two this is your crystal ball reading on your most important and useful information that we can get from your akashic records right now so just give me a minute and we'll get to channeling okay by number two so i'm seeing a lot of gold and i'm seeing a rainbow over here and i i do feel there may be layers of meanings over here so we can break it down but the gold i feel it's it's definitely a message of alchemy so you're definitely an alchemist over here by number one and with the rainbow what i feel is the message is you have everything right now that is exactly required the circumstances the situation the situations or the situationships that you are in right now 
they're exactly the sort of fodder and the fertile soil you need to sort of burst forth your own empire and create everything out of nothing. And understand that you have everything within you to turn anything that you touch to turn it into gold over here. Pile number two. I think that is the message over here. So there's the strong Midas energy. So definitely understand that there is something much deeper and greater happening over here and I do see the sun again. So there's this very strong solar gold energy. So you could have a lot of strong Leo placements or your North Node or your South Node could be in Leo. Or there's just an emphasis over here on your identity, pile number two, and you're taking more pride and joy in in your identity. Even if that might not always seem like super spiritual thing to do, but at least right now, you do need to take more pride in your identity and who you are and what you're trying to do or what you are even setting out to accomplish over here with your clear intentions. So I do feel you are at the beginning of something right now also. So also like I would say, please write down your intentions about what you're trying to achieve because when you get lost in the maze, when you don't have all your friends around you and you're alone and you're weary and you're tired, that, that's when you feel like giving up. So that's when you can look back at the intentions that you have before setting on this quest because I do feel it's going to be something very, very difficult. It is going to be something very monumental that you have to sort of achieve over here and I'm getting again a lot of mythology and Greek mythology particularly. I'm, I'm seeing Hercules finishing his certain tasks to sort of get more into his godly power. So I think that that is the story and I do feel this is the analogy over here. It's almost like you have to retrieve certain parts of yourself over here, pile number two, in order to truly activate your true power. So it is giving a bit, bit of Thanos with his five rings. So there is this energy of, again, this rainbow, right? All these, all the parts coming together perfectly at the right time to just create what you're truly here to create over here. And for a lot of you, I am getting this very strong artistic creative energy, this higher intelligence that you're collaborating with, which is also you and your higher self and how you are in so much sync and beauty and harmony that you're like a fairy fluttering about. And when I, whenever you flutter about, there's just like sparkles everywhere you go. So there's also a sense of beauty in the way you move right now, literally, and also the kind of things you're doing right now, the way you're doing them, the way you're doing what you're doing right now, Pai Lamba too, there's a real emphasis on gracefulness and beauty and taking your time with it and, and just inspiring people in the way you move. You could, a lot of y'all could even be dancers over here. So there is this strong emphasis on movement. And I'm seeing a couple dancing now. So if you're single, which I do feel a lot of y'all are, maybe a lot of y'all could even have gotten out of a divorce. So just know that the right person will come in, but they will not come in when you're down and out. They will come in when you're happy, when you're loving yourself. So if you can't find any incentive to love yourself, you can temporarily use that to sort of come back into your senses. It always works. Pile number two. And with that, I also feel that you are very driven by love. There is this strong moon Venus quality to you, a strong even Neptunian quality to you. So don't change for anyone. Keep being who you are and you will find your way even if it might look very different than other people's way because you're not going to the same place. So there's also a, an important message over here of not following the herd just because it's easy, just because it's simple. Pile number two, you are meant for bigger and greater things. Maybe that's why you're not able to fit in. That's how you need to look at things now. With more self-assuredness, with more confidence and the confidence coming from your inner knowing, not faking it till you make it because it doesn't really work, does it? People can tell. So, like I said, take a lot of pride in who you are and understand that even if 
you have to deal with multiple obstacles at the same time. Like I said, it is the exact soil you need to create your kingdom. So, detach, definitely detach to what is happening right now. I'm not saying disassociate, I'm saying detach. There's a difference over there. I don't need you to switch off and go somewhere else when you are experiencing what you're experiencing. I need you to be mindful and be present, but also not have a positive or a negative emotional charge to what you're experiencing. And in a way where you're able to look at yourself and what you're experiencing from a third person's objective point of view and trying to see how it all fits into the bigger picture, because these are like Eureka moments that you will have, they will just happen very naturally for you as well. So a lot of clarity, a lot of just, just a lot of dark clouds dissipating over here. That's what I'm seeing. And there's also an emphasis over here on your voice. So whatever you have to say, speak, sing, whatever it is, you could even be a teacher over here, but your throat is very important. And we're supposed to use that in this lifetime, pile number one. And also, Pay attention to the kind of words you're saying right now because that will definitely manifest for you either good or bad. So understand the energy you're embodying right now is, is a part of your journey and you sort of mastering this will help you even get ahead on your path over here. And there's definitely victory over here. And like I said, this road to victory hasn't been fun. It hasn't been easy. You have been backstabbed a lot. People have smiled at your face and stuck a knife in your back. That's very much something I'm seeing. And I don't, I'm not seeing one knife, I'm seeing 10. So there has been a lot of betrayal over here and just a lot of you losing faith over people, you even cutting out a lot of people, which is great. But I do think in the due time, you will heal yourself and you will be able to be open to new friends, new love. I'm just experiencing love in whatever way it comes to you, pile number two. So there's a real importance on your dreams right now, on your visions. I think a lot of y'all could even be waking up to your clairvoyant abilities. So take heed if certain things are being put on your path, if even certain things are in your mind, understand that they're coming from a divine place, especially if it's nudging you in a direction that you feel you need to go in or you're doubting a certain direction don't dissolve your ego right now. That is going to be the best, best way for you to deal with this. Because if you don't dissolve your ego, you will go the opposite direction of the direction you need to go in pile number two. So less procrastination, less stubbornness at your end is, is required. I'm seeing two flames again. And I'm seeing two rainbow flames. So it, it could be a lot of twin flame energy in this reading as well. So like I said, your temporary incentive can be meeting your twin flame as a result of you transmuting all this alchemical energy and not just transmuting it, but transmuting it into gold, which is a very big deal. So you will find your own philosopher's stone, your own personal philosopher's stone in this lifetime. And I think it'll, it'll, I think this will only happen when it has to. It might not happen when you think it will. But just you getting to where you are going, like I said, this, this strong energy of just your own myth, your own personal lore, all those things, I think that is also going to inspire a lot of people. It could definitely be turned into a biopic. And you could definitely write an autobiography file number two. I think it would be very interesting for a lot of people to read because you could definitely share a very unique perspective, but not just a very unique and a wise perspective, but also just the kind of experiences you've had. Not a lot of people have had that. So you will be voicing not just your own experiences, but also those millions of voiceless experiences that go unheard. Pile number two. So again, there's this emphasis on the bigger picture and of and what you're trying to create and do over here and the sort of reflection and the the sort of ripple effect that will have on anyone and everyone that you come in contact with. 
have come in contact with past, present, future over here, point number two. So there's also this very strong spiritual energy, this very strong esoteric wise crone energy. So don't hold back, especially from surrendering to anything and everything that is plaguing you. And if there are certain mysteries that you're not able to solve right now, it's okay. You're not meant to solve them right now because I'm seeing I'm seeing a closed treasure box and none of the keys are working. So I do feel there there needs to be a bit of a suspense around your gifts and it being revealed to you at the right time under the right circumstance. So don't get restless. Don't get hasty in what you're trying to learn over here or what you're trying to achieve over here. It does need, like I said, dedicated everyday meticulous practice. It's more about your skill over here, pile number two. And when you master your skill, everything will fall into place. That's your cue, pile number two. I do feel there's a feminine energy from the past that is maybe tugging at you. Could be a, could be a motherly figure, could be a romantic partner, could be a friend, but I don't think you should take this person back. I'm not getting good energy from them. And I don't even think you have the same kind of emotional charge that you used to towards this person. So let them be where they are in the ditch that they are. So it it's not going to truly totally affect you. So even if they come to you and start complaining about certain things, I don't think you should take them back. It's their own undoing and it has nothing to do with you. So don't even feel guilty if they try to make you feel guilty. Again, this is, I'm seeing yellow again. So your self-esteem by number two, you're shining the way you need to shine right now. All that is more important. Prioritize yourself, be selfish. If that's how you perceive loving yourself right now, if that's the terminology you want to use, then please go ahead and be selfish right now. And I'm hearing selfish by Britney Spears. So, and that song is, it's all about letting go and just enjoying yourself in a way. So you're just not going to care. You're just going to do your own thing and you're going to be happy and you're going to be popping. You're going to be like Britney in the 2000s over here. That's what I also feel. So if you're in the public eye, expect to go viral. If you do music, something, expect to go viral. If you're even in the corporate, expect a raise or a better job. There's definitely a leveling up energy over here for you, pile number two. And you're doing everything right. So don't, don't question the path. And if there are certain blockages, they are there to protect you. A lot of things are, I, I, I do feel a lot of things are also being cooked for you behind the scenes and you don't want to break the flour or the fruit before it's completely ripe, right? It only falls out when it's perfectly ripe. So there's this strong emphasis on divine timing over here as well. And I know how frustrating it is to hear that from a psychic's mouth, but it is what it is. So fight me. Yeah, I am seeing a lot of this frustration over here about not having the kind of movement that you need. But maybe you're going the wrong way. Maybe you need to take a U-turn and maybe there's a bylane that you missed, that was the right way. So I don't know what that means. That could definitely be metaphoric over here. But don't force anything right now. Go with the flow. If something is not working out, come back to it. Maybe it's supposed to happen a little late. Maybe you're supposed to miss that train or that bus or that flight. It's okay. And I think this is something you will naturally come at. This, sp this space of just having a sigh of relief, even when things are not where you want them to be. And just you realizing what, what kind of a superpower that can be, especially in high intense stressful situations. Pile number three, I, pile number two, I, I, since I, pile number two. So I do feel that is the key message for you. And know that you will be able to again prosper in whichever direction you choose to go in. And you have everything within you right now to succeed. So don't underestimate yourself. Don't undermine yourself. 
and get out of your own way if that needs to be done. Get in the arena, Pailam Vetu. That's the message. Yeah. I do think as a result, you will get more attractive. I'm seeing a lot of deep red now and I'm seeing the root chakra. So I do think you will also get a lot of financial stability as a result of doing all this work and you will stop blaming other people. And I'm, I'm not saying you blame other people all the time, but maybe there is some amount of blame game happening in your own mind that needs to stop and realize that there's no point, whoever's fault it is, but you need to move on and take care of business the way you need to. I know that you have the vision and the sight for it, pile number two. I'm also hearing pile number three, so maybe you might have some messages in pile number three, you might want to check that out. I'm seeing the rainbow again, so if you're queer, don't worry, you will get the acceptance that you need. And if you're not, it is the alchemical process that you're going to be coming out succeeding in by number two. All your hard work, it's not going to go in vain. It is going to amount into something very magnificent, something beautiful. Any other messages? Yeah. So that's all I have for my pile number twos. Again, it's a general reading. So please take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And if you want to reach out for private reading, you can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for private reading. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. Thank you. Hello, if you chose pile number three, this is your crystal ball reading on the most important and useful information for you right now in your Akashic records. So just give me a minute and we'll get to channeling. Okay, pile number three. So what I'm feeling right away is this strong wave of apathy. I think you're just very over things. You're just very over the strenuous days that you are getting through and you are only human at the end of the day so your feelings are very justified firstly but you know you cannot keep going on the way you have been going so there's a real need to switch gears and not just switch gears but switch the direction i, I do think maybe you're not going in the direction that you know is ideal for you you could you could be in your people pleasing era you could be doing certain things to make your partner happy to make your friends happy to make your family happy but you're realizing it's not actually working out for you and doing what is good for you might look like going against a lot of people right now and you just don't know how you will find the strength and the motivation to keep pushing yourself and let me tell you you do have endless reserves of strength and motivation by number three you could have any prominent fixed sign placements in your birth chart which is taurus scorpio leo aquarius or you could have your north nodes there or your south nodes so there is this strong energy of even fixation over here pile number three and maybe you're fixating on a lot of negative things whether it could be behaviors patterns it could even be just certain people that you're not ready to let go of which maybe need to go and i think that is also blocking your blessings in a way pile number three so you need to be a little more calculated in how you choose to move right now. Shrewdness at your end is required. You have to be more cold, detached and calculated about your next steps. And even if it might ruffle some feathers, the doggos are being loud today. So there will definitely be a lot of retaliation against what you want, pile number three. But since there is so much retaliation against what you want, it is probably the right thing for you. And that's what you need to realize. Even if you have to fight your family sometimes, even if, even if you have to fight your partner or your friends, it doesn't matter. You have to do this for yourself, pile number three. That, that is sort of the message over here. And I'm, I'm getting very passionate all of a sudden. So I do feel you will have the energy to go on. You just have to start. You just have to get things 
going. You have to get the ball rolling. Pile number three. I think you're keeping yourself stuck, and you're keeping yourself stuck from your own greatness right now. Pile number three. So get out of your own way, firstly, and you have so much amazing creativity and beauty waiting to come out of you. So only you can mine this right now, and. Don't focus so much on what is happening or what is not happening for you right now. That's not what the focus needs to be. The focus needs to be on what do you want, how do you want to go about doing it, and what do you want to leave behind. I think these are the bigger questions you have to answer for yourself, and also the kind of intention that you're moving forward with. Because it is going to be a tedious journey. It's not going to be easy, but you have the stuff it takes to get through by number three. And for a lot of you, I do feel you could even be traveling over here. Now I'm seeing, I'm not just seeing travel. I'm seeing long distance travel. I'm seeing a flight take off from one point in the world and it lands at another point in the world. So there is long distance travel over here emphasized. This could even be a ninth house energy or Sagittarius energy, which which could be. Soon helping you travel, I feel there is a strong travel energy here as well. Pile number three. So I know the road is bumpy, and I know you keep tossing from one side of the extreme to the other. But you have to center yourself. You have to compose yourself. You also have to give yourself the time to decompress, so you can get back into doing what needs to be done at your end. Because I do, I do feel you feel as if you have. A lot of responsibilities, and I do think you do, but I don't think all of your responsibilities are as important as you make them to be. So, you will also be letting go of certain burdensome responsibilities which are not yours to carry. So, simplify your life right now. Don't take on more people's problems. Don't be very firm with your boundaries. Is what I was trying to say, but. I said, don't take on other people's problems. So boundaries could be an issue over here, right? Pile number three, it could be a real problem. So until you solve it in a way where, no matter what happens, even if you have to face that situation, you have to know that you won't lose your mind and you will be victorious. And you won't let the person get the best out of you. You're not going to feel guilty for not picking up your best friend's phone. Pile number three, understand that. Be firm with your boundaries and just say what needs to be said. And I get it. I'll just give you an example. I was speaking to my friend yesterday, and I I called her after a while because I was recording, and I couldn't call her back. So she was like, "What if someone had died?" And I just said, "I don't have the energy to resurrect people, so it would either way have nothing to do with me." So I think, be saucy and clap back whenever required, and just reinstate your boundaries. Pile number three, and be very firm about it. Even if this is your best friend, even if this is your lover, if this is your spouse, whoever it is, it doesn't matter, because they're not going to give you their energy right now to create what you have to create, or to give you their energy to do what you have to do at your end. Because I do see you have. A lot of work. I see huge piles of work, but I also see you doing it just perfectly. I see you just losing yourself in it in a very happy and a very positive way. So conserve your energy for yourself right now. Pile number three. There's a strong emphasis of that. Become a become a fortress right now, if that makes sense. You need you need that sort of. A barrier to to really create something because you are in the vulnerable stages, and I don't see things go wrong, but they could if you let other people and your energy too much. So right now, if you're single, I wouldn't even advise you to date because you don't want your energy to get mixed up with other people's energy right now. Pile number three. And also no sac no also no self sacrificing no martyring yourself. There's a real message of that here as well. Are you 
are you trying to sustain things at your own cost? Then that needs to shift and you need to find a better way. And for a lot of y'all, I think a lot of y'all just need to drop what you're doing and do something completely new. And know that you have the direction, the power and the conviction to go after whatever you want right now. Whichever direction you choose to grow in, pile number three, you will grow right now. You're just in that energy. And you're very close to this level of mastery, which is also helping you. So you do have your spiritual team backing you up. So even if you feel very alone right now in the real world, it's okay. It's all right. You don't need people right now. So repair yourself and get back into the pit, pilometry. I'm also seeing a star and I'm, I'm seeing a starfish now. So like I said, there's this strong energy of regeneration here as well of you being able to grow back your limbs and whatever has been lost is just going to come back to you, but much, much better, hundred times much better than what you kind of even hundred times better than what you could have even imagined for yourself. So like I said, you are in this very strong manifestation energy. So just be very mindful about the kind of things you're saying, positive or negative, because they will manifest by number three. So only manifest the good. Mindfulness is going to be your biggest weapon right now. Because you will be able to even curb a lot of unfortunate events from occurring. I do feel that you have that much power, pile number three. And with you particularly, your pile, I do think you're going to have an impact on a larger audience. Or you're going to be influencing a much, a much greater number of people than even what you could have anticipated. It's not going to be a small group is what I'm trying to say. You could have a big social media following here or you could eventually just get to be the CEO and everyone knows your name. There is the strong stardom energy here as well, pile number three. So don't give up on your dreams. Be very fixated with it. I'm seeing the star card. So you could have any prominent Aquarius placements. And again, Aquarius has that energy of sort of bringing things down for the masses. So Understand that you are the channel over here, pile number three, and you can be the conduit for whatever energy you choose to channel. Whether this is psychic or you're just an actor over here, you will be able to switch even if, if, if you're musical, whatever, fit into your situation over here. Understand you have so much versatility and you can adapt whenever required. And I think the flame is going really, really strong. So. The, I do feel that is a very strong message and I, I haven't even paid attention to the flame in this whole reading today. So you could have connection even to the fire signs, which is Aries, Libra, sorry. You could have connection to the fire signs, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And even if you don't have that, I think there is a strong energy of rebirth of you just burning up in the ashes, even if it's very painful, you keeping yourself rooted through that process and you also getting to see the other side of things, the more, the more happier, the lighter, the more joyful side of things where all the struggle will totally be worth it. And you will also understand why you had to go through certain things. So you're going to be dropping all this blame. You're going to be getting very, very light. And as a result, you're just going to be shining so bright that anything and everything that comes in contact with you, you will be illuminating them at a very deeper level. So like I said, all of this is happening for a deeper reason for you. So you can do this. So you can truly really step into your real power over here as a light worker, shadow worker. Pile number three, I do think you have some very strong nervous habits, which could even borderline on being unhealthy. So you need to find better ways of managing that. That's also something I'm seeing over here. And I'm not telling you one way to go. You can go whichever way you want over here. You can, you can try out alternative healing practices. You can try out traditional spiritual practices like yoga, Tai Chi, Aikido, all those kinds of things are going to be very more useful to you given the state you are in than doing anything else. Just having that sort of a discipline of showing up 
and practicing whatever you choose to practice over here and i think that itself is going to make your life easy you will you will soon start even finding escape in your work pile number 3 which is again not healthy but it is okay for the time being we'll take it so know that the extremeness you're experiencing right now is not going to last forever and my ears are ringing so we'll take that as confirmation so just give me a moment yeah so what you're experiencing right now is a lot of activations i also feel and i do feel there's a lot of energy just moving through you so don't hold on to anything right now don't take anything personally right now because it's almost like you're experiencing a purge by number 3 and what will be left is the dross from which you will be able to again create whatever you want and you will have a much more greater chance of creating something better than you did the last time so if this is about your work i do see you again reaching a level of mastery by that and you understand finally that it's, it's not what and how you're creating but it is your ability to create so you're going to get a lot of spiritual lessons through your very worldly experiences that's what i'm getting over here by number three you're going to truly bridge the gap between your own spiritual world and your real life 3d reality and that itself is going to not keep you in this angst, not keep you in this melancholy. It will set you free. That's what I'm seeing over here. So definitely focus on that. And lastly, I do think you will, as a byproduct of doing all this hard work, meet the love of your life. Because I'm, I'm, I'm again seeing two flames and they're coming together and going apart and they're coming together and going apart so you will merge with your person the right one for you in this lifetime but th that should not be the focus and the goal right now sure it can be an incentive it can be something to motivate you but it should not be blocking you right now you will only be able to meet your person when you're doing well for yourself not not when you're down and out by now and you will be doing very very well very very soon so let go of the past it's only stopping your progress by number three understand that a lot of you not fighting yourself is is important right now because i think you're spending a lot of energy just fighting yourself and just repressing things that are clearly not wanting to be repressed anymore yeah so a, a deep cleanse within within yourself Cry it out by number three, if that's what you need. And know that you're much more closer to achieving what you want than you realize. So take a break and even smell the roses. Take your time with things. It doesn't all have to... It doesn't have to all be everything all at once. So don't chase after even extreme experiences. That, that's not what your soul is asking you right now. Your soul wants gentleness it wants soothing experiences so give yourself that however you choose to go about giving yourself that whether it's walking in the national park or going to the beach whatever it is by number three do it and make it a habit if nothing maybe once a month maybe once in a few months but it has to be a ritual for yourself I'm seeing fairies, so there is this emphasis on woodlands over here and forests and also just bringing a bit of whimsy and joy and happiness and silliness into your life right now. It doesn't all have to be so serious all the time. Fairies are very playful. So even if you're battling some very difficult situations, be playful about it because that also helps you not 
not absorb but it actually helps you repel all the negativity around you here as well yeah and the fairies are smiling so they're with you they're definitely with you and you worry too much more than you need to buy number three so stop any other messages I'm seeing a wolf, so I do think you are a natural born leader over here, and you're meant to lead your own pack. That's why you're not fitting in in any other people's pack. Pile number three, please understand this, and then move accordingly. So that's all. Again, it's a general reading. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And if you want to reach out for a private reading. You can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for a private reading and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.